Hello, I am Sarah. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to take you guys on a dopamine hit with me to go to Marshall's and Spirit Halloween for some Halloween stuff. I already picked up some nails at Walgreens. They look like Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, which is so fun. They have some really fun press on nails at Walgreens right now. So yeah, come along. Main Street in Roswell. There's not much to see. <laughs> We're gonna stop at Starbucks and see if they have pumpkin spice since it's the last week in August and Spirit is open, which is Halloween Spirit is open, which is so exciting. Pumpkin spice latte, ooh, pumpkin cream cold brew. I think since it's still August, I gotta try the pumpkin cream cold brew. Woo -woo. Harley's looks like a really cool bar, but it's lame. Oh, worst customer service in Roswell. It's the only place we've ever gotten kicked out of because of our dog. First pumpkin spice of the season and I got the uh, cold brew I'm gonna try it I'm excited it looks so good oh man it doesn't even taste like pumpkin it doesn't taste like they put any pumpkin in there I think they forgot an ingredient so we're driving into the mall area which it's the lamest mall but i'm just happy that there's marshall's because marshall's has become our obsession so we're gonna see if we can get pumpkin spice syrup here um we have a hobby lobby which is lame i prefer michael's i don't like hobby lobby lobby's politics and i don't like that they push it onto their employees marshall's has their halloween stuff already how fun I like this little, how cute! A little kid could be a little... Adorable. I want to be a little kid. Ghosties. Go to the back wall and see what goodies.
I promised myself I wouldn't buy Halloween goodies this year, but no, no, it's hard. There's so many cute things. Look at this Mickey. He's so cute. Let's see how much he is. $16.99, that's such a good deal. Oh, look at this. That's cute. $24.99. Cute. Oh, I like this moth. $9.99. These are so cute too. This one's so pretty too. I like this one. Only $9.99. Cute little boo. I like that cowboy pumpkin. That's cute. That is $14.99. We might have to get that. Cute little bat. Look at these plates, the Mickey plates. Those are cute. And these bowls. Oh my gosh. I like the Lilo and Stitch. Salt and pepper shakers. So many cute things. $12.99. Oh wow, I love this serving platter. And then this little one. This one is $5.99. Aww. This plate is $4.99. And then they have Jack. The Nightmare Before Christmas plates are only $5.99. Not bad, and they're a nice size. Got some more pillows over here. Ghost pillows. This one's $19.99. I like these blingy ones. $29.99. And then they have more over here. Look at these cute pet costumes. This is adorable for $9.99. Little pumpkin. $8.99. So cute. Or you could get a little cat bed, a little pumpkin cat bed, or a Snoopy. Look how cute that is. The pumpkin bed is $16.99, which isn't bad. Look at this cute little star and moon one. So cute. 
That one's $12.99. Look how cute the peanuts. Little houses. I don't see a tag on that. Oh, it's $29.99. Oh man. If Bella was a bigger dog, I would get her this beetle juice toy. So cute. $9.99. Look at all these cute little Halloween toys for the dogs. That sounds fun. The pumpkins. Happy Halloween. $4.99. We got the ghost. Day of the Dead. It's crazy that we even have like Halloween themed toys for our pets. Oh my gosh, look at these. I think Bella would like those. See how much these are. $5.99. Even cat toys. Look at this cute little bat. Catnip toys. $7.99. So cute. I'm trying to decide which one to get our dog. The squeaking candy or the spooky creatures. The squeaking candy is $5.99. <laughs> And the other one is $6.99. So this is the Roswell Mall. <laughs> It doesn't even say that anymore. I think this mall is on its way out. There's really not much in here. There's two food stores. There's Spirit Halloween that's only here like two months out of the year and JCPenney as well as Lazy Boy and like a few other stores like Beals and that's about it. So as you can see, it's really empty space. All of those stores are empty. We just have Lazy Boy. And then another furniture and appliance, Spirit Halloween, JC Penney's, the shoe store. There's a jewelry store in here. And that's about it. have my costume for this year but next year I want to be the corpse bride. I love her outfit. Her flower crown is so pretty. $19.99 and this little bouquet $14.99 Oh my gosh, look at these nails. So cute. Well, 
but my husband has this costume and I'm gonna be Lydia Deeds. Oh, they have her costume now. They didn't have it the last time we were in here. My husband says I should be Sally next year. And he, oh, yeah. We'll wait. Hopefully, we can get them on sale. We like to buy our costumes at the end of the season when they're on sale. They've got the makeup kits. $12.99. More Nightmare Before Christmas little press on nails. I've got my own little take on them. I like these Jack Skeleton ones. Look at this cute bag. Ooh, $59.99. a minion. Oh, you guys, I really like the Scooby. Scooby-Doo! I would just rock this jacket. I think that's cool. Let's see how much this is. $49.99. The game. $29.99 for these Scooby Doo. Could be Sonic. Teletubbies. Dorothy. I like the red shoes. I really want to get the Corpse Bride. I see you. Oh, my husband wants you to get this guy. You can't escape my gaze, so why don't you come a little closer and let's play a game. <laughs> if you win, you'll get a prize. So creepy. If you lose, well, don't Shrek costumes are cool. Fiona and Shrek. I like the mask. But you know what? I would be so hot wearing a mask. I couldn't do it. Oh, and it comes with the gloves too. Why? Why does this have to be a costume? I like these sunglasses. I would just wear them on the regular. $9.99. spirited dress. See, I would buy that and just wear it on the regular or the flower power. Oh wait, I like this one. You guys, the 80s section flips me out. I'm like, no. See, I would totally just wear these on the regular. Or these scrunchies. <laughs> so nostalgic. Or these gloves. They've got pink or neon green. Totally 80s dress. I would just rock that on the regular. Or those joggers. Mm -hmm. 
$7.99. Or these bracelets just for nostalgia reasons, $3.99. wearing these and these and these fun earrings $5.99 my other favorite section to just shop and buy like fun things that I don't necessarily always wear just for Halloween like this is fun for a festival music festival I want to get these little temporary tattoos and try out see how a snake tattoo would look see if I want one on me permanently let's see $3.99 $5.99 got glow in the dark ones all these fun things all slashes I can't wear fake eyelashes. It freaks me out. I like the stamper sets too. Now we're headed over to the home decor. Oh, I like this. Welcome to Wish Mortals. $39.99. Got a mug, handbook of the recent for the recently deceased. $9.99. Oh, look at this fun cup. Never trust the living. $9.99. Check out that tablecloth. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Pillows. Diaries. Oh, here's the handbook for the recently deceased journal. $16.99. Then you've got... This year is not too big on the Hocus Pocus. There's just a few things. Either they haven't got it in yet or they're not doing it. We've got some Hogwarts, which I'm not really a Harry Potter fan. Oh, ghosties. This is also from Needle juice. No feet. $16.99. Door covers. Tablecloth. Sun catchers. Snake. Sun ray. Spiders. The haunted mansion. It's crazy to me that they sell tarot cards. $9.99. Moth wall dec decals. Like that tarot card banner. Maybe if it goes on sale. Or this one's better. I like this 
Jack Skeleton little cup for $14.99. $26.99. You get Jack Skeleton. Also $26.99. I like this Nightmare Before Christmas countdown. That's fun. This one is $26.99. We've got the Bates Motel sign. The scary section. Everything seems to be $26.99. So, ooh, exciting. We've got Claire's accessories. Kim's Kitchen is really good. Really good Thai tea and Thai food. We like eating there. A generic cell phone store. We have our beauty school here in the mall. There's that other jewelry store. Beals on the corner there. There's a movie theater. And that's it, you guys. More empty space. At least they decorate their empty space with cute little scenes. In this big empty space, they should put a Kohl's. I'm calling to you, Kohl's. Come to Roswell. And they've got this CrossFit gym that's rarely ever open. And then I guess in this, they do cheerleading and dance for the kids so they're only open when they have class more empty shops and then look at this little seating area like how awkward it's like You've been a bad child. Sit in the corner. At least they have nice little scenery up. And then they've got this cute little telephone. Free little library right here. It's always usually filled with kids' books. Hey y'all, welcome back. So this is the haul part of the video, but I wanna start off by saying, R.I.P. to my Too Faced glitter. The applicator fell off. And then I was like, okay, I only got one eye done before it broke. And then I was like, I have more glitter. So I pulled out my Wet n Wild glitter and the applicator did the same thing. I'm so sad. I love this packaging. It looks like a mermaid. And this was the metallic liquid eyeshadow. 
and it was so fun. It was green and purple and then this bright turquoise. I don't know the name of this one. Let's see, Ice Queen. So pretty, love both of these. They're all dried up, dried out. <laughs> Um, it looks like this Too Faced one, like this was one of my favorites. It it looked like it was really, it's gone. Like I used it all up. So sad, you guys. But honestly, this makeup is probably like five years old. So I keep my makeup forever until it breaks, dries up, dries out, whatever. So I'm not a snob. Like I'll use Wet n Wild and I use Too Faced. So they lasted me a long time. They've been featured in many a video. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the haul section. These ones I already opened and I threw out the packaging, but I got these as well at Walgreens. And um, what's fun about these and this one is they are glow in the dark. And so at night you can see my nails glowing. I think they're so much fun. All right, so we'll start with what I ended up buying at Spirit Halloween. I didn't get much because it's, because it's really expensive, but I had to get, since my husband's gonna dress up as Beetlejuice, he got his costume last year for like half price, like when, you know, the stores are closing up, he bought his costume and so I knew it was gonna be Lydia and I have a red dress already, so I just purchased the red veil. Hopefully it matches, if not, who cares? and some accessories but i got these fun press on nails and these are 6.99 i hope they're comfortable i like that they're not too long they um they look like they're pretty short so that's nice i went ahead and got the 20 tattoo set which i'm really excited to put some tattoos on fake tattoos these were $3.99, so not bad. I have some stampers, but this one is different colors. You've got purple, silver, blue, and well, it's like a maroon hearts and purple butterflies, and I didn't have that, so I picked this up for $12.99. So maybe in another video soon, you will see me wearing these. And then I got the face makeup for to do my husband's makeup as Beetlejuice. They have the kit, but the kit's expensive and I already have a lot of makeup. So I really just needed the white and some green. In the kit, it's lime green, which would have been really fun. But um, I figured it doesn't really matter. I'm going, we dye his hair green anyway, since he's an artist and he sells his alien art at the uh, Roswell Market. So he dyes his hair green anyway, so we might as well, you know, he's not gonna wear a wig. He doesn't need to, so. And then me, I'm just really wearing my own clothes and I just picked up some accessories and uh, Lydia's, for me, easy to do. I'm gonna have him look for his old camera. I had one at one point, but I don't know where it is. I plan on dressing up as Lydia throughout the like a lot like we're going to go to the movie premiere of Beetlejuice Beetlejuice and so we're gonna wear our costumes then there is an electric parade in Carlsbad and we're gonna end up dressing up for that and then if there's any Halloween parties or costume parties or anything we'll dress up it was really cool today in Spirit Halloween there was a girl dressed up already so I love it that people are already getting in the spirit I mean I already have my fake nails on my press on nails which is fun We've already watched two Halloween movies or, you know, Halloween adjacent movies this year. We watched Lisa Frankenstein, which I know that that movie got pretty bad reviews, but I really liked Lisa Frankenstein. I thought it was a fun movie, a fun throwback to the 80s. I loved it. So we watched Lisa Frankenstein and then we watched Beetlejuice and it kind of, I'm already feeling a little homesick for Vermont. And even though in the movie it says, it's supposed to be Connecticut. It was filmed in East Corinth, Vermont, which is near where I grew up. And a lot of the towns look like that. So, uh, we, you know, with the covered bridges and it's just small town <laughs> and you know, the old man sitting out front, like just talking to himself, pretty accurate. <laughs> it was fun to watch that movie and, uh, 
see shots from Vermont. I'm so excited. I didn't think that Tim Burton would go back to Vermont to film. I guess they went back to East Corinth and filmed for two days for Beetlejuice Beetlejuice and I really didn't think he would because he had a really difficult time filming in Vermont and he had said after the first one that he would not film in Vermont again. I know that Vermont doesn't make it easy to film uh, movies in uh, that's probably why Wednesday wasn't actually filmed in Vermont, even though one of the actors, he now lives in Vermont, it's supposed to be in Vermont. I can tell watching that show that it's not Vermont though. All right, so at Marshall's, so we stopped at Starbucks and they do have apple, like a, the apple drink, the fall apple drink, which ugh, I don't like apple in coffee. I think it's kind of gross. I tried it last year or two years ago, whenever it first came out, and no. And I got the pumpkin cold brew and it really didn't taste like pumpkins. I'm really not supposed to be having sugar. So we got sugar-free pumpkin spice at Marshall's for $4.99, which is such a great price. So I can make my own sugar-free pumpkin spice latte with no dairy because again, I'm not supposed to have dairy either. So I'm excited to try this. I love the little scarecrow. They had like pumpkin praline. They had like all these different pumpkin flavors. I decided to stick with the original, but we'll see. I got these nails for $9.99. They, they have little bats on them and then they have little stickers that you can stick onto. I hope they're not too long. So I got those. And then for Halloween stuff, I got my dog, this little puzzle snack bag for $5.99. This is the one I decided to go with. So you get three candy corns and they do squeak. <laughs> She's all perked up on the couch. Like, what was that? So she'll have fun. Now, I know this isn't Halloween stuff, but they had a clearance section, summer clearance stuff section. I love these in some of my videos. And when I was doing tarot readings, I wore these. I bought a bunch. I got this for like nothing. It was such a good deal. It was $5.50. I think the ones I bought last year were like $15, $20. And then I'm such a sucker for like purple like so I got this for six bucks which was fun this one wasn't like on clearance but um it's okay it's still a good deal I like the packaging with a witch so they got me <laughs> so this is my idea of you know not really buying Halloween stuff like I had mentioned while I was filming over there I'm trying not to buy I don't want to buy too much Halloween stuff this year. We bought uh, stuff at the end of the season last year. And if we do buy things, that's when we'll buy it this year. As um, that's when you get the really good deals. The sticker shock, there was a sweater that I wanted to buy at Spirit. It was, it had, it was like a black and purple tie dye sweater. And it said support your local coven and it had the triple moon. And I wanted to get it and just wear it. I mean, I don't care. And, um, but it was $34.99. So I think we're gonna try to find a sweatshirt at uh, Michael's and we'll paint something like support your local gem store or support your local witch, something like that. And then I'll draw on it. I wanna get into painting and, you know, creating things again. So. I think it will be cheaper if we do it ourselves and then it will have my energy and it will be better. So I hope you enjoyed this haul video and going shopping with me and having my first <laughs> pumpkin spice latte of the season. It wasn't great. The cold brew wasn't great. Uh, I think sticking with the original is the way to go. Uh, it actually tastes like pumpkin, the pumpkin spice cold brew. It Tasted like something, but not pumpkin. <laughs> and so Bella and I wish you guys well, and we'll see you next time. Bye.